I don't think this is Helsinki. This is a kind of adventurous life. Hi, my name is Kiriko and I am not in Helsinki. I have been two months now in my new school and this is my first school break. So I came to Puolanka. I mean, where else would I go? Here there's snow and Nanook and my mom are also coming here this week. But not in this video. This is my video. And in this video, I'm going to tell more about my school. And the school has been great. I don't think I could have gone to a better fitting school for me. As I have said in some previous videos, I go to Kallio Upper Secondary School of Performing Arts. That is really hard to say. In Finnish, it's just Kallion Ilamastotapanoten Lukio. That's a lot easier, right? Basically, the Finnish Lukio, or the upper secondary school, is pretty much the same thing as the American high school. Normally, you start the Lukio when you're 16, but I'm 14? I'll talk about that more in some future videos. But now, I want to talk about my first impressions of my new school. And why did I go to the School of Performing Arts? I've always been interested in performing, starting from some short films that my dad made when he was in film school. When I was under 10, my school in Rome emphasized a lot on music. We had musicals and other performances, so I was naturally guided to be interesting about performing. And later on we also started this channel, and, well, I'm performing here. All of these performing things combined, what better place is there for me than a school of performing arts? I have now finished middle school and moved on into the big boy school. So what are the differences between middle school and high school? And what's so special about my school of performing arts compared to a regular high school? In all Finnish high schools, there are these typical subjects like math, sciences and history. In my school, we also have all the same courses, but we also additionally have these fun subjects like theater and media and dance and creative writing and rural expression and other things that make you smile. The best thing about the school is still probably the people or all the different events that are held. The main difference to middle school is probably that I have way more responsibility but also way more power. With great power comes great responsibility. It's really cold outside, and I don't have proper shoes. So, let's go inside. I wasn't prepared for winter. Not yet in mid-October. Ah, yes, responsibility. A good example of the responsibility is that I have to ask for help to get help in my school. I have the power to study the way I want, but I have the responsibility to study well. If I feel like I want to figure out something myself, I can do that. For example, I have to make my schedule myself and choose what I want to study and how much if I manage to get to the courses that I want. I wanted to have a verbal expression course but those performance courses are so popular that I just didn't get in. So now I don't know how to verbally ex ex expert? Now, after two months of school and after my first exam week, I've realized that I have problems with self-discipline. I really just can't get things done. Or actually, I, I did all my school assignments, 
but I started everything so close to the deadline that they didn't turn out as good as I wanted. I'm becoming a master at procrastinating. If I plan my day so that I get to write an essay and study a subject, I'll probably only do half of the essay and say that I'll study the subject later because I need to play the guitar and eat and juggle and get to level 14 in Tetris. So I could say that I've started well in my new school. I'm looking forward to being part of some projects where I can express myself. I've also realized that I have room for improvement. Even though you might not believe this, I could organize my time better and find ways around procrastination. I could, for example, plan my free time so that I don't start juggling with my juggling balls when I should juggle with my school assignments. Or I don't start juggling while making YouTube videos. But now I'm in Puolanka, and here there is also a Lukio. So why didn't I go there? The curriculum is pretty much the same, and there are only 10 new students in Puolanka High School this year. So the teaching would be much more personal, wouldn't it? In Kallio, we are 160 students in my class. And that's probably why I feel like in Kallio the teachers don't offer their help so easily. There's just too many of us. But then again, in Kallio there are over 400 students that are all interested in some kind of performing arts. It's a much better platform to start making something creative and making it well. I'm not in Kallio to learn history and psychology, even though I do learn them. I'm in Kallio to perform and learn how to perform. So all in all, I think Kallio and Lukio is really a great Lukio for me. And I'm happy to spend the next 3 or 4 years there. I'll probably make much more videos in the future about my school, but my next video will be with Nanook, my favorite brother. Thank you for watching, remember to brush your teeth, and see you soon again. <laughs>